Winnipeg. Play matchmaker for us. What are the top three most likely destinations? Well, let's start in Columbus. Yarmo Kiklainen has cleared a lot of cap space there, and he's been shown to roll the dice before. So with that move, and hey, there's a little bit of a Finnish connection there with Yarmo, his chief scout, Vili Siren, and obviously Patrick Laine along the way, available for a draft, you know, a couple years back, and, and so many eyes on him. He's a proven goal scorer. He fit great. They've, they've rolled the dice before, and I could see them doing it again. The second spot for me, maybe a little bit of a sleeper, but the Detroit Red Wings and Stevie Eisman, he's made some real nice additions along the way. He also has the cap space, but he clears a lot of his mid-level money next year, Gino, and he knows from having built the Tampa Bay Lightning that you need superstars to win. The chance to get a superstar, he's got some real good players in the draft, but the chance to get a goal-scoring superstar may be too tempting for him. And third, the Los Angeles Kings, because, Gino, it's L.A. Yeah. You need stars in L.A., right? <laughs> and they, too, have a good group of prospects coming. Alex Turcott, Tobias Bjornfort, Rasmus Kapari, but they don't have that guy. Now, their big money comes off the books in two years when Jeff uh, Carter and Dustin Brown will be gone. So they'll have lots of money coming off the books. They'll get that superstar. And so just three things to think about. Pierre, when the Jets acquired Paul Stasty, the original thought was he'd be a great fit to center Patrick Lyonet. But Lyonet or not, how much impact could a guy like Stasty have on this Jets team in his return? Yeah, I think that's been an underrated part of uh, this period in the offseason, perhaps not in Winnipeg, but certainly league-wide. The acquisition of Paul Stastny by Winnipeg Jets. He, uh, number two centers don't grow on trees. And the thing that I love about this transaction is Paul Stastny was excited when he found out he was going back to Winnipeg. You know, he has a 10-team no-trade list, do-not-trade list. Winnipeg wasn't on it. Vegas didn't have to ask him to wave because he was fine going to Winnipeg. He didn't have to put them on his no list. Unlike a lot of players, let's face it, around the league that put Canadian teams on their list or other markets. And so I wouldn't be surprised that Paul Stashney, who has one year left on his deal, if the Jets at some point over the next few months um, go to him and see if he has any interest in extending his deal, might give, you know, a little runway for Cole Perfetti to develop, of course. And um, so I, I like this matchup a lot in terms of bringing Stashney back to Winnipeg. It's a positive story after I was the bearer of bad news yesterday <laughs> that we focus on this year. Well, 